All right, a pleasant good evening to each and everyone. It's indeed a pleasure once again. It's Tuesday, the 21st of January. Believe it or not, Tuesday the 21st, uh, almost the first month of 2020 is well on its way to being completed. And uh, as you know, the year has a funny way of just picking up momentum. So much excitement, so much of things happening in the Carrot Bars community. And I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you once again to tonight's Zoom presentation. The Power of Mass Adoption 3, with our presenter, King Carlos, Bronze Director, of course, hosted by B. Larry Pereira. It's indeed a pleasure to be on this call tonight. Just want to invite our presenter tonight, Mr. King Carlos, who's been in this business for well over two years and has made a significant impact, not only in terms of his team, but as a presenter, as a trainer, is doing so many wonderful things in the community. King Carlos, good night. Pleasant good night to you, sir. Pleasant good night, everyone. Good night, Larry. Nice to have you back in, good in, night. in, in Trinidad. <laughs> yes, yes, in sweet TNT. Good to be back here, sir, and good to be back with you on tonight's Zoom call. So we have a lot of um, excitement, gold nuggets tonight that you're going oh, to deliver yes. for oh, us. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. And we are going to ensure that we have um, that, that, that those nuggets are going to be quite edible and and can be well consumed without a doubt so before you start just want to welcome everyone on the call welcome to our jamaica affiliates our barbadian affiliates good to have you on the call and of course trying to big i see kelly and pope from the usa is on the call good night and it's good to have you on the call and of course many of other uh listeners and by extension other persons from other parts of the world, if I have missed any location, please uh, private message me the box and I will correct it. So, Carlos, um, so many things happening with this mass adoption three. And I think tonight you're really going to go um, and nail, nail it solid tonight and give us some really good information. Well, I do hope so. I do hope so. And um, I know that there's so much happening in the world generally and there's so much happening in the world of cryptocurrency you know the idea behind the term crypto speaks about hidden something that is hidden it's 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 underlying and indeed we have a a, a whole world of economy and and currency that has been hidden but this is a time when it is coming out it is being revealed it is being unveiled in the world scale and as the population of the earth gets more and more information and is more and more empowered, there is much more awareness. As I, as I, I, I understood recently, there's a term called mass awareness. So mass awareness indeed will lead to mass adoption. And that's where we are tonight. And um, go ahead, Larry, you want to say something? Nope. Uh, take it all the <laughs> way to you, sir. The floor okay. is yours, sir. We, I'm just okay. going to be taking copious notes. Okay, great. So, good night again, everyone. Privilege again to be here in this space. Uh, indeed, I would like to be able to um, have this opportunity and privilege to really present to you the power of mass adoption tree. I want to start off with a quote. According to Brian Armstrong, who is the CEO of, of the major U.S.-based cryptocurrency exchange, Coinbase, he says that mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies depends on three factors, volatility, usability, and scalability. Now, if most of you don't know, we are really, you know, we are operating on a platform of Cardbaz International, where we are working with a cryptocurrency that is based or backed by gold and if you know anything about gold we know that gold has a stable value it is able to preserve purchasing power and has been doing so for periods of time centuries if you want to say so and so um the beautiful aspect to our cryptocurrency the kbc coin is that we have the assurance that we will not experience volatility because of the fact that we are backed by a stable asset. We are backed by an asset that is not in itself volatile. 
It has had consistent and continual growth throughout the ages and still, even today, continues to have consistent and stable growth. So we have that factor of volatility is taken care of in our carrot gold coin. Then we have the issue of usability. And we know that definitely this is the aspect that we are now into. We are now marketing the whole idea and I'm going to be playing a statement from our CEO and founder a little later as to what he has said regarding our coin and the whole ecosystem that Carbaz International has brought forward. But usability is a definite. As we know, we have our own gold, cash gold, uh, transactional gold, and then we also now we have our card gold coin, which will be able to be used in platforms and can already be used in some point on some platforms in terms of acquiring packages and, and different assets. And then we have the issue of scalability. And we know that indeed, uh, again, with the, the volume of gold that we have continually backing and the amount of coins in our circulating supply that we are going to have a, a, a consistent scale of growth, a consistent scale of, of, of managing the, 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 the valuation of our coin. And we're going to have those things in place. And so we are just excited because we have entered into 2020. We have entered into a time where there is clarity, clarity of vision, clarity. For years, we know the company card bars have been in development stages and now they have been moving into utilization as often heard. But here's another quote from another group, Tyler Winklevoss. And he says, the idea of living on crypto is now a reality. You can now do it. For the consumer, it amounts to being crypto conscious. It's like being green. <laughs> and most of you would have known and are still being made aware of is that we have a green movement where people are conscious of the environment and conscious of um, treating you know, with plastics and disposal of plastics and all these things to protect uh, the ozone and so forth. And that's a movement in itself, the environmental movement. People are becoming more conscious and aware of the environment. But let me tell you, this is a different level of consciousness. And I like the word they use. It's about being crypto conscious. This is the place we have to move to. And we know and we are quite aware that it's going to be a period of transition and a period of utilized development as we have been going through in card bars. But also on the world stage, there are some level of developments that are still taking place. And as more and more persons and more and more individuals and countries and companies utilize crypto it is a more conscious people will be or as i would say mass aware the more people will be aware of this awesome opportunity to protect yourselves from the devaluation and the inflation and the taxation excessive taxation that comes with fiat currency you see the beauty and this is why I love Carbaz International because we have a currency that is backed by a stable asset, gold. And because of that, we are able to, to, to continue to operate in, in a place of consistency, in a place of, 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 of more confidence and, and, and of course, assurance that, uh, that, that we would not experience any of the major problems that exist out there in the fiat world. And so uh, I spoke last week about the whole idea of three market segments for mass adoption. We have the man on the street. We have that he needs to be mass aware. And as he's mass aware through the acquisition of utilities, goods and services for ordinary daily usage, as he becomes more and more aware, the man on the street, we know that the market will be increased. I spoke about this at the last webinar. Then we also spoke about the whole segment of institutional. The, that the, the segments of markets that, that are institutional in nature, example, political, and the banking sectors, 
they also have to gain and bring about regulatory acceptance or acceptance at some point in order for adoption to take place so that there can be great exchange taking place with our cryptocurrency as, and with your local currency, whatever it may be. And then there's a third market segment I spoke about, which is the businesses and merchants who are the main suppliers of goods and services, which we all need to function and sub survive. And if you have a small business, you would need the supplier to be able to receive payments in cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin, or our own KVC coin, or Ethereum, we would need those platforms in order to maximize uh, the transactions that can be done using cryptocurrency. Uh, but, but it was interesting, and, and in my research, I came across a very interesting uh, site. And <laughs> this is the market segment that we didn't even really talk about. It's been, in fact, this market segment is, is very uh, minimal in terms of our given attention to but is yet a very critical market segment that we need to pay attention to if adoption is to be successful, especially in the near future. This market segment is, is expressed even through this site. At this, let, me, let me put this question. Are kids the key to mass adoption of cryptocurrency? This was a, a question asked on a, on a site, September 6, 2018, where they're asking, what about the, the role of children? Children, what about the role of kids? What about the role of the youth in our society? What about they? Uh, can they be the key to mass adoption of cryptocurrency? And so this led to a site called Pigsby. <laughs> yes, I know this, it sounds very funny. Pigsby. Pigsby.com is an awesome platform, and I'm going to read a little bit from the site and 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 so give you some information in fact i'll have a slide up to show you what pigsby is all about and and it's quite informative and as you see there on this slide it says they say children are exposed to money earlier than any other generation pigsby is a great way for children to understand money its uses and its potential so pigsby <laughs> it is really a virtual piggy bank a virtual piggy bank uh, and that was a grandmother from Australia who made that big quote but that grandmother understands the role that the market of the youth in society plays and children plays uh, and, and this is just some of the information from their site the piggy wallet will be the world's first digital piggy bank most parents still give children a weekly or monthly allowance with the aim of teaching them the value of money and giving them some independence. The piggy wallet facilitates this and much more. As the white paper states, the Pigsby experience, which is a token and a decentralized app, is designed to replace physical money normally stored in a traditional piggy bank with a digital alternative that caters to modern globalized families. This market niche of modern globalized families, that is tech invested and interested parents will undoubtedly embrace a tool to teach their kids about earning, saving and managing money in a safe way while at the same time providing an entry point into the world of cryptocurrency. And, you know, Pigsby app, it's an app really, app Pigsby. It is really, it works with a, a wallet, Piggy wallet, which is called Wallow. And <laughs> it is so interesting that we need to recognize in the role that our children will play in the digital economy. We have to recognize the role that the children will play in mass adoption. Already they are tokenized online games where persons can play video games online and it's being tokenized. And therefore that adds value in some way or form or fashion for them. I, I remember as a young child in my day when I would go to our traditional games arcade 
Uh, and we had one in down here in Trinidad, San Fernando, where you would go and you would go to the counter and you had to purchase a coin or a token, it was called. And you'll have to put it into the video machine to play Pac-Man or Tetris, which was in my days. I won't tell you how long ago that is, but it's pretty long. And you play Pac-Man and Tetris. You have to enter this token into the machine, the, the, the game, in order to activate and have access to play the game. Now that is virtual, though those things are digital. And so even the concept of tokens and coins was existing long ago. But now is now in a more digital fashion. And so we have to recognize the rule that the children will play. And it's a term that is used in this article and in this note that is very interesting. Speaking about modern globalized families. Modern globalized family. How many of you can say you have a modern globalized family? I, I think that, you know, in, in, when we go to school now and we learn about the different types of family, this is going to be a new category of family, modern globalized families. And it is important for us to understand that in order for us to remain relevant with the times we are living in, we must become modern. We must become global in our thinking. We must not uh, remain, you know, uh, how to put it, centralized or in, in terms of our nation, but really the world is our stage. And so cryptocurrency and the mass adoption of cryptocurrency enables us to travel the globe, enables us to, to, to be able to do transactions on a global stage, on a global way without regulatory fiat restrictions that, that is held to particular governments. And so Pixby is an awesome uh, opportunity. Then Forbes, some time ago, also highlighted that the spread of stable coins could perhaps be even more likely to encourage mass adoption of cryptocurrencies. And in the article stated, the, the article, you can go and find it on Forbes.com, how adoption of cryptocurrency stable coins can open access to the 1.7 billion unbanked and poor. So it's not just even just dealing with cryptocurrencies, but now they have the idea that stable coins can also create the opportunity for mass adoption. And what is stable coins? Basically, stable coin initiatives have been developed and is developing at a rapid pace. Adoption of stable coin, which is a form of collateralized cryptocurrency that is pegged to a stable fiat currency, like the yen or dollar, are being debated by central banks. This is a good sign. Regulators are discussing how blockchain-style coins can become mainstream payment options. And this is what we want to understand, people, that there are many routes to, to creating mass adoption. We have to, yes, deal with the market segments, the main market segments, the man on the street. That then they have the institutional uh, sector. And then we have the business and the, the merchant uh, industry. But then at the same time, we target now also the children, the youth. We need to educate our children about cryptocurrency. We need to uh, let them understand because guess what? That is the world they are going to grow up into. That is the time they are going to be moving into. And so we should start educating and teaching our children from young about the realities of virtual currency. Who knows? They may even help us old fogies to even understand some of it better. I already, I remember just last year I encountered a young man. He, he was probably not old, uh, older than 12 or 13 years. And yet he was already writing programs. He was already writing JavaScript. Do not underestimate even the potential of your children. Do not underestimate the potential of the youth that is around you. They can also be a key factor in developing mass adoption in cryptocurrency. And then we have also now the market of stable coins. Understand that governments are bringing out their currencies. We know there's the USD Teta. We know that yen, the Japanese as well, is having their, developing their cryptocurrency. China is also working on one. Russia is also working on one. There's so much things that are happening in the crypto space that we who are living our daily lives working for our simple paper currency 
are clueless to. And so this is why we have to understand that even in Card Bars International, that what we have is truly an opportunity because in, in a sense, our KBC coin, our carrot gold coin is, and it's going to be a stable coin. I mean, if you look right now, you may feel it's not so stable when you look on the carrot, carrot bit uh, site. But let me tell you right now, on the carrot bit site, you have opportunity waiting for you. You can now take advantage of the stage that our coin is at right now, which is, uh, at last I heard was 0 0.00053 or 0053 cents, or US cents, for a KBC. And someone will say, wait, this coin has gone through, it's no good. No, that's not it. What we have to say is, wow, this is opportunity. Let me get as much coins as I can because the ecosystem in the utilization stage that we are now entered in in Cardbus International is going to drive growth, is going to drive value, is going to drive development, going to drive maturity to this coin that every coin holder that has this coin in their possession will not regret it trust me <laughs> don't even trust me trust the process is in, indeed important for us to understand the process that is happening right now and yes the coin is very low and you will say wow i i, I should sell well let me tell you it doesn't make sense to sell right now because if you sell you are really operating at a loss and it's best is just as good as it being there and you're not having that money because really and truly the potential of that coin, those coins that you have in your possession is not for tomorrow, is not for next week. It is indeed to have long-term vision and not to be short-sighted in terms of, of your emotion and see the growth potential of the carrot gold coin. You know, it's so important for us. It's so important for us to understand the role that, that the KBC coin will play in the whole mix of things it is so important and so um we we got a, a statement this week today i believe it came out from our ceo and founder dr harold sykes in card bars and i want to play that video for you i want to play that video but just before i play that video i was telling some people about the site this is a site called spend a bit it's and the site is actually spendabit.co Spendabit.co is a site that you can spend Bitcoin across hundreds of stores that accept Bitcoin. And you can actually have access to 3 million products. I'm not advertising for them, nor am I affiliated with Spendabit. I am just saying, and I'm showing you the facilities that are already there that you can utilize as a crypto enthusiast, as, as a Bitcoin holder, even as a KBC holder, you can exchange for Bitcoin and purchase stuff. You have access to millions of products that you can utilize and have access to, right? This is actually a portal that leads to several popular sites such as Newegg.com and Overstock.com and much more other sites and carries categories and clothes, electronics. So in other words, it's the Amazon for Bitcoin, <laughs> right? I, I, I think they should pay me some money for, for sharing this. But the thing is this, the point is this, we have, we have a lot of opportunities that are out there that because we are not aware of and because there's not much mass awareness of it that we have been operating in isolation. This is what cryptocurrency comes to do comes to bring us into freedom and then much more than that we have carrot bars international who is now provided a gold backing cryptocurrency that can provide much more freedom let's listen to what our ceo and founder dr harold sites has to say and let me just uh set up this here as we go into let's hear what dr harold sites has to say Okay, sorry, let's click the next, let's go. Hello, this is Harold Seitz, CEO and founder of Carabas Innovation. 
First, I would like to say thank you for this amazing year. Each of you has done an incredible job. You increased the number of our partners from 600,000 to nearly 900,000 people. What an achievement. And for this, thank you very much. And we will continue to grow our vision. Bring the middle class people to the gold. And this is a very important, this is the basic from Carabas. Carabas International is a worldwide company. We have partners all over the world, from US and Canada to South America, from Norway to Spain, in Europe. And the fast growing market is the South African market and many other African countries. And we stepped into the Australian market and also the Asian market is becoming more and more bigger. You all know we had some trouble in 2018 and also in 2019. And I will not talk about this issue. You know them, most of them are solved. One sum, we are still on working. And ladies and gentlemen, we all do our best. The company people in our office and all the people around care of us. They support us and they help us in the whole world. We both positive change to many lives and we will continue to do it in the future. And that I will promise you. Let us talk about the news, the new multi-package. The new multi-package are the first package for a new strategy which lifts the company and you, you and as an affiliate to a new level. Let me say something. Um, the e-points will play more important roles in our marketing plan in the future. For both, and this is very important, for the affiliates who want to build an organization and also for the customers. Ladies and gentlemen, and now I want to a little bit talk about the news for the next seven months. And as I know you are very excited of this and you will hear what has happened and what is coming soon in Kerbos. The first is our new multi-package is already done and uh, ready to sell. The second is um, for the Univals in Caribbean, you can transfer your Univals now in the next uh, two weeks to Caribbean and can pay a package for this. And uh, a lot of people want this and this is why we decided this. The bonus Univals, there will be two opportunities. You get a possibility to change your bonus Univals with the changing rate to carrot pay on the blockchain. And this will come in soon. We are on the process with this. And the second information uh, for the opportunity will come very soon, but you can redo it with the bonus universe. Fourth, we are already start this project carrot pay in the blockchain. This is the last important puzzle in our ecosystem. When we are ready with this project, we will be listed on the biggest crypto exchange in the world. And this is amazing. And I tell you, it was the last puzzle what we have for our ecosystem. Fifth, we start reseller program for you, affiliate and customer with certification and licenses for uh, physical and online shops. And this is the next step, what we're doing also in the next six weeks. With all these, we coming out with the next six months. As soon as each of this statement will be complete, you will be informed by me and my team. So, and now, uh, very important things also, 
for, for you this question. Will the price of KBC growing up? A lot of people think about this and uh, this is why I give you here the answer. Here are the facts. First, the Impulse K1 phone. You know, we create our Impulse K1 phone. Everyone use KBC for paying the monthly fee for this. Second, the Vim laptop. Everyone use KBC for paying the monthly fee blockchain over email. This is also coming in this year. And third, and this is the very important things, the transaction fee from CarPay based on blockchain will be also in KBC. Can you imagine what impact it will have on the market? I think you can't believe what is happened if we create this. Every transaction fee will be paid in KBC on the biggest exchange in the world. With Carol Pay on the blockchain, Carrot Bit and Key Merchant, Can I pay with our Carol ecosystem oh, is complete and we start a new financial era. Thank you. With this plan, ladies and gentlemen, we fulfill our vision and change many lives in a positive way. Let us together go ahead in the right direction with Carabas together. Gold for all, gold for the mass of the people. With our new ecosystem, we are help the people in the whole world to reach a better life. Thank you very much. This was Harold Seitz, CEO and founder, Carabas International. So we see we have our founder and CEO, Harold Seitz, Carabas International, giving us a wonderful synopsis of what's been happening and what some of the plans that are coming up in the very near future. We see talking about mass adoption, strategies that are being employed by the company to bring utilization of the KBC coin that it will indeed affect the value and affect the price of it, which will then drive demand. And the demand is created through the activation and using the blockchain products and services. Because you'll be using the KBC coin, the it will create demand and therefore increase value. And so we are at the cusp of a great opportunity. I encourage all of you who are on this call, get as much KBCs as you can. Now is the time. I know we have new multi-packs, which also aid and assist in getting e-points so that you can acquire phones and, and, and other products, electronic products. And those things are there to help, again, utilize the blockchain. It is the utilization of the blockchain that is going to drive demand, which is going to create a greater need for the coin and therefore create greater value, which now holders will also benefit from its increase. So we are at the cusp of a great opportunity. I want to encourage every person here. We've been talking about the power of mass adoption. And we have a community right in Carbaz International that we can build and encouraging persons to get cryptocurrency. But mind you, know that it's not just limited to our card gold coin, but it's also uh, for businesses and merchants, you can also have the opportunity to, to transact business using this cryptocurrency. And it's not just our KBC coin, but also Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you want to learn more about this and you in the area of Trinidad and Tobago, this Sunday, 26th of January, 2020, we have our digital e-commerce payment system workshop two. And it's held, being held at Roy Stonia Community Center, Coover North. Registration is $100 TT. And you can go to pre-register and book your seat on the site http colon backslash backslash bit dot ly slash dps merchant go to that site and register now 
once you're in Trinidad, you need to be a part of this. You need to get to this event. And it's going to help to bring greater understanding of how you can benefit as a business person, as a merchant. And here's what. If you're a person who design you're going to set up an online business then this is also for you it's not limited to just people who are brick and mortar businesses it's for any person that wants to have a business that you can't even accept bitcoin and transactions in in in, in, in cryptocurrency right um we know we have the carnival season coming up there are a lot of tourists that oftentimes come into our country guess what there are a lot of people outsiders tourists that are more aware of cryptocurrency than we hear. But guess what? How will, beautiful will it be that if your business can facilitate the payment of cryptocurrencies? So when these tourists come and they got the Bitcoin, they want to spend the Bitcoin. Maybe you have a, a, a restaurant. Maybe you have a diner. Maybe you, you have a, a shop or a or, or, or bar, whatever it is. Imagine if you can take payment in KBC coins, in Bitcoin, in Ethereum, and much more to come you will be positioned right to also not just be local but global in your business prospect so so i want to encourage each and every one of you to call call your business friends as well once they're inside card bars if they're not sign them up today get them attached into the system and let them come out to this uh, e-commerce payment systems platform we have a, a limited amount of seats and they are they are already people have been inquiring and they, there's going to have a lot of seats that's going to be taken up last time a lot of persons waited last minute to decide to come and some had to be turned away don't be one of those who are turned away register now book your seats today and then you could come and pay at the door or at our other caravan events that are taking place all over the country I'm Carlos Gonzalez, Bronze Director, Carbaz International, uh, crypto enthusiast as well, and a trainer in cryptocurrency. And we want to encourage you to make an extra effort and be here at this event. Why? Because this can help generate mass adoption in our sweet TNT. If you're in another country, do not fear, do not be worried. We are ready and willing and able to come to a country near you and also present training and guidance in these platforms. So uh, right now I'm gonna sign off, I'm gonna hand it back over to a wonderful host and friend, Mr. Larry Pereira. And I say good night to all of you who've been on this call tonight. God bless, Mr. Larry. Thank you so much, King Carlos. A lot of information has been shared. And of course, to our neighbors in Barbados and by extension, Jamaica, yes, we will be looking at doing these workshops very soon in the not too distant future. So don't worry. We will be definitely putting plans in play to ensure that this information also materializes on your local soil. Some very important information that was shared by King Carlos, and I just wanted to reiterate some of that in case you would have joined us while the presentation was going on, or if perhaps you may have lost some of the information. Uh, King Carlos did talk about, you know, the critical components of mass adoption, and it really comprises three things, volatility, usability and scalability and these are very important points when you are looking at mass adoption of course this type of education that we are in fact creating through these zoom calls is going to be a continuous stream as we had spoken about in 2019 because it's very important where we are to truly understand the dynamics of how this whole digital economy is working we need to have a working knowledge of that of course, King Carlos spoke about the three market segments, the man on the street, the man and woman on the street, in terms of their understanding how this is working. Think about Facebook, think about WhatsApp, that irrespective of how prepared the market was, eventually they had to adopt it because there were certain elements that were pointing in that direction. Institutional, we're dealing with banks and regulations, regulatories in terms of setting up 
certain key points of control. Of course, in any technology, when the internet first started, it was attributed like the wild, wild west until there had to be established protocols and means of doing business. Of course, it's going to be the same thing. And the cryptocurrencies that are positioned in that particular way are going to be the ones that are going to last. At the end of the day, the carrot bars ecosystem is a global payment system that really is a non-threat to the current economic system. In fact, what we are doing is we are creating solutions that the current global financial system is fractured at this point in time. So we are creating workable solutions. And I think that's what's important. Of course, merchants, we spoke about that. And definitely on Sunday, we will be having our K Merchant Part 2 workshop. We had a very successful event last year, and it was very oversubscribed. And definitely, I believe it's going to be the same thing moving forward. It is very important to understand on this whole mission of mass adoption that kids are going to be the main ingredient, if you want to put it that way, in this pot of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology moving forward. It's important that we need to stimulate that level of understanding through our ongoing education because kids are definitely going to adopt this technology. They're already born into smartphones. They're already interfacing on this digital platform. So it's nothing unusual to expect. And if you look at many of the advertisers these days, they are already targeting kids in this whole digital economy. So we really need to open our minds to this whole new digital possibilities and to begin the process of using blockchain and cryptocurrency education as a mainstay in ensuring that your family will not be left behind. And that's why we're having these Zoom meetings to bridge that gap. This call is being recorded and will be available later on tonight, early tomorrow. I'll be posting this in the chat room so you can go back through some of the components in what King Carlos would have said. It's very, very important to do that. Of course, we can't overemphasize at this point in time because of the current value of the KBC, it is not to be worried, but it is a buyer's market. And we will be discussing that in various groups. Of course, I spoke about this in our Barbados group in terms of how we're going to get that with Bitcoin. I will be addressing that tomorrow. So don't worry, guys. I did speak about it. So we're going to be talking much more on that. So as we wrap up, we need to understand what Harold Seitz would have said. You know, these multi-packages do have EP points. Many of us would not have understood the EP points and may think that the EP points perhaps were just to get a phone, as Brian McGinty would have said. It's like a layaway plan in terms of how you can eventually get your phone over a longer period of time. All right, notwithstanding, Harold Seitz has reiterated the importance of these multi packages and these EP points will eventually be used for other products and services. So bear that in mind. Uh, these bonus universals will be definitely giving us that opportunity to use it. Carrot Pay, if you notice, he mentioned Carrot Pay numerous of times in this video, which says that Carrot Pay is taking a major upgrade on the Carrot Bit the carrot net blockchain. So there's a lot of opportunity moving forward. And pay attention to what he also said coming down to the end of that video where he spoke about online shops. Merchants play an active role. The K1 Impulse, the, the WIM, and of course many of the other products driving the demand for the KBCs. Naturally, if demand is greater than supply, what is going to happen? It means that we would have created an ecosystem that supports the value of the KBCs. So for those who would have acquired as much KBCs now as possible, you are definitely cementing your wealth portfolio. And I think that is very critical for us to understand at this point in time. So it's already about 15 minutes to the hour. I don't want to go further on this Zoom cast. So just want to give King Carlos uh, the opportunity to just give his final closing comments. King Carlos, on tonight's presentation. Fantastic. A lot of information. You had me taking notes. So I'm actually looking at these notes here. Any final closing comments, sir? Well, you know, again, um, please, I want to continue to encourage persons to expand your knowledge. Do not limit yourselves. The, the, I wouldn't say the sky is the limit. 
the 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 space is the limit <laughs> and um it's a really it's it's a time of great opportunity it's a time of education it's a time of freedom and as long as you are willing to expand your understanding and your knowledge and take your development seriously especially on a fintech level the sky and the space is, is the limit because there's so much opportunities waiting now than ever before but it won't always be open i'll tell you that it won't always be open this is a, a window we have so take full advantage and get those kbc coins get as much as you can that's all i can say right now how can you get it you have to utilize it right now through bitcoin until the feet of of univals are activated he said in about two weeks so come on people get to kbc stack up stack up stack up and hold on to their life. <laughs> thank you, Larry. Right. Uh, thank you so much, King Carlos. Of course, this call is a wrap. So don't join us tomorrow. Michael will be on tomorrow with tips and tricks, carrot bars, going through some many of the other landscapes that sometimes we forget as carrot bar affiliates. So you want to tune into that same time. All right. So we'll be posting out that link tomorrow. So. On behalf of uh, King Carlos and myself, thank you so much for joining this. Thank you so much, Jamaica. Thank you so much, Barbados. Thank you so much, Trinidad and Tobago and USA. Good to have you on the call. And we look forward for tomorrow where we convene same time, same place. Good night, everyone. Have a blessed night.